Okay, and welcome to another episode of Courted Clem's Electronic Workshop with his extremely overexposed camera. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So, anyway, someone on YouTube by the name of Stefan0719 and me got to talking the other day and he got to talking with one of his friends which resulted in me being sent this little kit here which I'm going to build and review and well I guess this is my first product review I will of course I will put a link into the website of where you can get this unfortunately it is in German and um, I'm not sure if they do ship outside there although I got one but let's build this up and see how well it works Here's the schematic for people, for anyone who might be interested in it, although you cannot see it. So I'll do a scan of that and put that in the video instead. Hopefully that will be okay. So anyway, let's build this up and give it a little test. Alright, we're nearly there. As you can see, got pretty much everything put on there, apart from the transistors, because I always put the transistors or chips or pretty much any other semiconductor device I always do those last that way I'm not I'm not so likely to zorch them with the heat from the soldering iron while I solder in other parts so uh, let's just put in all these transistors they're all the same so it doesn't matter which transistor I put in where it might take a little while while I get the leads bent so we'll do a time lapse while I'm putting these transistors in <laughs> Okay, has all four transistors in. Now let's just solder them in place. And this is another little tip that I'm going to give you when soldering transistors. Start with one transistor like this, just when you need to clean the bit of the soldering iron. But don't! Then go straight to the next pin and the next pin. Go to one of the other transistors and wait for that first one you were just soldering to cool down. Which is why I'm doing it this way. It's much safer for the transistors that way. Alright, let's solder these ones in. Time lapse time again. And voila! My terrible soldering skills are revealed. Or at least if the camera would focus. Don't really want to touch the transistors at the moment because they'll still be hot, but hopefully you can see. Of course, if the camera would actually focus now, all I've got to do is clip off the excess leads, and then we can give this a test. And wow, there it is. Look at that fine piece of engineering. I'm talking about the person who actually made this board because this is a very well made board I mean it's at first I thought it was a bit weird because it, on the back here it looks like there's some bits that don't go anywhere but it's double sided so I'm very well made so thumbs up so far I guess it's time to give this a little bit of a test alright then let's give this a bit of a test we're gonna test it with this I mean I I'm going to test it with this boom box. So we'll put this onto radio. So we're on AM. It doesn't seem to be picking up anything. Not even the local stations, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, that's plugged in. So hopefully it's transmitting. I've put the jumper into the medium wave position. And I've connected this piece of wire onto the output, so we should be able to see if this is working. Just try to find somewhere where there's silence. Is it transmitting anything? I don't know. 
Okay, well, I thought I would do a little bit of debugging to see if this thing is actually working. So, I've got it connected up to my oscilloscope. Here you see circuit. And here is output on scope. Seems to be a very strange waveform. But I've got it connected up to my microphone preamp, which is why you're hearing from the webcam as own microphone at the moment. And as you can see, as I speak, it does modulate the waveform. So, it is working. Only trouble is, I cannot seem to tune this into on any radio. Maybe if I was to connect some kind of RF amplifier to the output of this thing, then it would be a completely different story. Okay, so now I think it's about time we try to transmit with this thing. So, I've built up a little RF amplifier here, which takes the output from this, so it's strong enough to feed into an antenna, which is this long piece of wire up here. Now, pay no attention to all this stuff here. In fact, all the stuff on the breadboard above the screwdriver is nothing to do with it. This is the circuit of my RF amplifier. Hopefully you can see it. So it uses a JFET input stage so we get nice high input impedance and then a, just an ordinary NPN transistor. And the beauty part of this circuit is that it's tuned. So it will only amplify a certain frequency and reject all the others. So I can tune this to the same frequency as the modulator. So I'll show you how this works. So I'll turn on the oscilloscope, put in the other camera. Right, so I'll connect up the modulator. And now I'll plug in the little RF amplifier, or transmitter as I like to call it. So there we go. Let's just turn up the amplification a little bit and as you can see it takes that rather nasty looking waveform from the modulator and we get a very nice and clean sine wave. I can tune this to get the best output possible which I sort of pretty much already was at but um, about there seems to be about the best. So now I've got this tuned I can detune it just by putting my hand across the coil here you know, like in the Tesla coil experiments anyway, I have lost that 470k... oh there it is so now I've got it tuned, I can put the 470k resistor in so we actually have the transistor biased properly as you can see the waveform is now shot off the top and bottom of the scope although so difficult to see the output waveform on the scope. There you go, you can see it there. Okay, so just turn that down a little. It does distort the waveform just a little bit, but it's not too bad. And if I play music through this thing, because I got it connected up to a music source, we should see the waveform start to jump about a little. There we go. See, it's not showing up too well on the scope camera. Maybe if I just put a little bit more into it, you might be able to see that better. There you go. It just looks fuzzy on the other camera, but trust me, that waveform is going up and down. You know, it's jumping around in time with the sound signal. And if I go way back, I can see. Maybe if I turn the light off. There's our modulated carrier wave, which looks terrible on this camera. If I show it on the other camera, you might be able to see it a little better. There we go. Alright, so let's see if we can transmit to a nearby AM radio. Now bear in mind that there are plenty of sources of interference in this room, so we're not going to get the cleanest sound, but I'll turn the radio on. And connect up the transmitter circuit, so here goes the modulator. Now I'm plugging in the transmitter. Alright, now I'm 
to run this off batteries because even with my power supply on, even that is a source of interference. So, it has to be batteries only. Anyway, I've got this little modulator connected up to my mini disc player. So, I'm going to play the mini disc and we'll hear it come out of this radio. Hopefully when it starts up. And there we go. Yes, I like video game music. can find on here. Back to Jesus and Pals after this. Oh my god! Thank you, Kitty! Excuse the mess. I don't even know what I've got on here. I forgot what I put on here. Doesn't seem to be anything on that track. Some guy who sounds like Cutcom interviewing somebody. Hello, my name is Cool Dude Clambizzle Cow. I am a Fudgetard. That's am right, I Cool Dude Clambizzle Cow. You are it's a Fudgetard. A complete one of that. Hello, I am Cool Dude Clambizzle Cow. I am a Fudgetard. No light. Like. Yes, you are. Anyway, let's just learn uh, some I... music. Maybe not that. Or that. Alright, let's just go back to the first track, yeah? I'm just trying to prove that it is this thing transmitting to the radio. this little board a thumbs up. I might actually try to improve on this by building a better RF amplifier for this modulator. Maybe something using valves, or as you yanks call them, tubes. But that's for another video, so until next time, goodbye. Seems to be about the best. So now I've got this tuned. Uh, I'm doing a Radio Fan 232. So now I've got this tuned. Uh, Alright, let me just set up this camera, because at the moment it's way too bright. I think I forgot to leave a moth out, so I better just do that. So I better just do that right now. Flat along, little moth. You're free now. I completely forgot that was there. So <clears throat> I can do an impression of how classic game was. This review has been approved by Lord Stupid. And welcome to another video! Ah. <clears throat>